I think it's good. Obviously, we are on patch 1.1010, so we've reverted from 111. This isn't going to be the new breach with the changes. We're back to what we already know, and instantly we're right up over towards tree into short and getting action started on A. Mina with the frenzy, able to find first blood. Zack falling, Marv, no chance from inside. The site will also drop. Clean take so far for Equinox, and for the retake, now required, will have to be in the back end of two duelists. Raucus does have a lot of utility to spend. He's going to have his next recon bolt up in just a few seconds, so you're looking at a long flank potentially coming up for Baby Bay, but there are a couple of trap wires that he will have to kind of obstacle his way through. Rainer from the side room will be trying to work their way on, but Equinox has got a really solid setup, so this execution is going to be hard-pressed to find a lot of value. The recon bolt all already dealt with and with that fault line coming through this is going to result in a lot of individual 1v1s baby bay falling first Corey next and the last one left alive is raucous decent shots he'll find one bring up a spectre play song is very competitive as well so equinox for the first time i gotta to go towards more of slow defaults moving up mid right now straight to baby bay uh, it's gonna be mina and blade storm down yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that we didn't see anything be used to try to cover up some of the angles in mid. Pretty free kill coming through. Corey able to double through DXN and Decop. That's the spike down. A lot of information here for FaZe Clan and a massive regain round in round four. Last two left alive are going to be Cute Fat Boy and Pancakes. And they are able to collect the spike, which is valuable to be sure. But it, this is going to be such a tough spike site to break into. There's still a lot of time to stay alive as well. Not a lot of time to get onto site, win that site, and get a plant, but there's a 2v2 ahead of them right now. You do see that Corey has moved his way all the way into mid, sees nobody there. Baby base sees plenty. Won't connect the second shot into pancakes, but 133 HP, left. one rifle, 30 seconds. Not too much more to do here as Corey comes from behind as well. Pancakes can't even leave if he wants to. Hey, Equinox has the ability with him placed out. Paranoia as well. Now here comes the play. Empress is through. Hunter Series trying to clear up space, but it's not finding much. Cute Fat Boy and Raucous go one for one. 4v4 action comes through. D Cop over in the corner gets taken down. Marv in a really cheeky position. Still has the paranoia to play with, and everything has gone wrong on this hit for Equinox. The Hunter Series doesn't find any value, and now DXN has to find a way to 1v4. Not going to get a chance at the first. Zach, can he find a way to hold off against this hit? Mina, first one in. Able to come right through the trap wire, no problem. Also has a cyber cage to dance through. Able to get there. And Zach, does he have any idea that this player is actually inside their own cyber cage? The flash oh. comes out, but Zach deals with the first and the second. It is the third flash. Zach, how have you done that? Three for him. Beautifully executed for phase on the hold. 4v2 to try to take the retake on to B. And that's it. That's going to be done right there. DXN doesn't really have much of hope now. Pancakes recovers the spike, recovers a gun. But a minimal HP here. One shot will do. And Corey with a quick headshot as well. Corey's not ideal. No tailwind either. Follow-up shot is going to also be a miss. And this could be Baby Bay falling. Oh, but Corey, he's on top side as well. He comes from the backside over towards Tree. Well, this is his time. Misses the first shot again. Tailwind away. And now the Rolling Thunder to follow. Rolling Thunder and Hunter's Fury trying to come through, and they should be able to find the kill left. after the tag came out on the baby, but he's able to use his updraft to stay alive for just a small time. Pancake's able to finally put him down. The retake on the way, but the Empress, that's about to expire here. It's You've gone. got to start finding kills right now. Completely gone indeed. Corey will not be able to use it whatsoever. So with the spike now planted, Equinox in a 5v4 hold situation. Mina going to find one more kill. Zach there for at least one yeah, trade, but I he's actually able to find a second, so still doable. Neural Theft will be used now for phase on the retake attempt. One more Leer sent out in the 2v3. Gonna get one in the corner, but Pancake's able to respond. Once more, as you're gonna get essentially a double hit here for Nox, but with this Blade Storm again over to Baby Bay. It looks a little bit like Deja Vu from rounds previous, and there the kill, is. first blood for Baby Bay. One more in the corner, Baby, able to find the second B main, and big numbers now for phase. Finally, Baby Bay is really starting to show up. Doubles his kill feed right now from two to four. Marv now up for a potential two as well. Plenty of players coming towards him. Zachary to support if required. Just the one for now. Zachary will pick up the rest of the pieces. Decop alive, one versus three. Might be able to get a cheeky plant in before time is over. The trap wire confirms his positioning and phase now. 30 seconds go for left. the slow retake. They know they just have to deal with one player. Limited util available for Decop as well. Shouldn't be too much pressure. You saw the recon bolt. Aldrone still being held currently for Raucus. That will likely be what is used to try to scout out where exactly Decop is. Again, he could punish, make this an expensive defensive round at the least, but as he takes a couple of spam shots now, everybody knows exactly where he's positioned. These are all tough gunfights. Recon Bolt comes through, the triple challenge right afterwards, and FaZe with a very easy, clean retake, and they'll go up six across the left side of the spike site. 
there it goes. It'll find one player in the corner, one more on top. It won't fully get over to the players on top of heaven. So Mina's got to find a way in. That's a beautiful flash behind us. Mina now for two. One more down low. Mina for the third. He's got the fourth up top. Baby B quickly trying to get here for the rotation. And FaZe need to try to find at least one counter pick. Not going to happen here as Pancakes able to find the elimination. Just down to Baby Bay. No chance. Mina for four. I, I mean, if you were Equinox, you're thinking you got forced up against when they were defending. On the offense, it's way more often for the force to come on through. And there it is. Oh, oh my god, the judge does so much damage. But it's not enough to hold. So now quickly rotated defensively will be Equinox from B to A. Spike should come down successfully. Pending that Marv commits to it. He hasn't yet. Looks like they're going to look for another elimination. This is dangerous because now you've got Equinox already primed to get back in the site. They've got flashes. They've got fault lines. They could actually retake this pretty quickly. Ecop holding on for the fault line. There goes the hit. Now the flash point coming through. He's not able to take down Zack, who somehow survives another flash. DXM with the trade. 2v2 we go. Zack able to find one, but instantly responded to. Just down to Raucus. Beef pancakes. And Raucus with the judge. He's going to read the shrouded step. Definitely a level of confidence when it comes to building in there. So how does we get this hit coming around through very quickly over to A? He back point up top, trying to use the cloud versus to spam, but Baby Bay gets the better of him. So now it's going to be Baby Bay up close and personal, down through hell. And the take is clean for phase. Not a lot of damage taken as well behind this. And Equinox don't have a lot of tools for the break. That's the big problem. It's going to have to be the successful flank for Mina. Rockus is sitting here waiting for it. Though point of contact about to come through. Wide swing. Doesn't win it. So now for the pinch for Equinox. 4v4. Can you work your way in? Decop up top, gonna find a couple of shots to land down low to hell. One more coming closer towards the spike site. That's gonna be an easy kill, but Baby Bay down low. He's found himself a third kill. The ace would be required, and he's not able to find kill number four. Equinox beautifully finds is gonna read both players over in this direction. So now Equinox wanna get a little bit more aggressive over towards A, and that's a bit too rogue for Mina. I see what you're thinking. Okay, we've got two players at B. Maybe it's just one player actually over here for Equinox. Mina tries to get first blood, but it's a costly engagement as phase now in a 5v4. And I don't think Mina at all realized the possibility of a hero rifle coming into play, and so heroic it is. And Mina's body will get dropped to the floor. Three goes Marv. That's now two weapons for phase versus four. And a one player advantage into the Hunter's Fury Rock. Just pops that one through. No kill so far, though. Marv responds. There it is. Raucus takes on the player topside. This would be a thrifty round for FaZe. They've got a 3v2, but Equinox still have the ability of a Hunter's Fury of their own. Now it's going to be channeled through, trying to delay the spike plant for now, but no damage being confirmed for DXN, so comes up empty Planet once more, and he's still 20 seconds away from a recon bolt. So now, as you've got rifles picked up for FaZe, it's a 1v3 situation for DXN. He's going to be a really tough battle going through tree, and FaZe are not interested in trying to push through this. Raucus will play Time. Rogue, just got to go by himself. The rest of the hit coming to the middle the map and what a read this is equinox is going to quit the rolling thunder rockets are behind he's able to find the first goes to the recon bolt though 1v1 versus him and decop and decop will fall what a rotation this is for phase but only 10 seconds you've got to get in and mina's going to be able to find the spike carrier five seconds left you've got to get there mina for a third there are still members on this side and equinox will hold first pop now face Corey understands how close he is to the action we're already deep on site look at this yeah, but the spike is not here. This is a really risky moment for FaZe because you just have to play defense on top of your Equinox site. And as Pancakes is able to find an elimination, there's numbers now defensively. 36 seconds to play. Corey needs to find something miraculous, and he's not able to get anything. So now Baby Bay is going to be tasked with a 1v multiple situation. Blade Storm coming through from FaZe as well. Baby Bay want to play this one nice and tight. Another splash, or rather a smoke comes through, but Corey has beaten the timing, and DXN thought he was safe. Unfortunately, not so much the case dismissed through, and now we're suddenly on to be the layer should follow as well. Mina can't see anything. Pancakes only we'll able to find one. Kill. Yeah. The spike, though, all this time was not picked up. Cute Fat Boy lingering in at our cover mid map. Corey on the other side. Who responds first? It's Cute Fat Boy. Six kills straight now for him after the I ace of the previous. Exactly. Baby Bay realizing he's got an opportunity to get here quickly with the Neural Theft will scout all this out. Decop, do you challenge this? Planted. He's got two flash points, deals with the recon bolt. So an opportunity for a retake to come through, but again, with for Baby Mina. Bay up close and personal with this Blade Storm, very dangerous. Mina on the rotation is going to be here late, but they have time. And there's not a lot of utility left for FaZe, if I'm being honest. Well, the Neural Theft was confirmed, so you saw the players on site. However, enough time has passed now. You don't know where a few of them are. You know that Baby Bay is close, though. I mean, this down. This is looking oh, a lot better. Flash. flash comes on through, but Rock still gets the kill. One alive now. 12 was moving up to B.
First time we get an aggressive look for FaZe. Paranoid's gonna push this through. Defensively falling back as both Mina and DXN. They're able to stay alive, and that's actually super crucial, but FaZe still with the full power. Looking to hit this quickly. The Empress trying to get into the mix, but it's actually gonna be Equinox for the favorable trades. 4v3 we go, favoring the defenders, and DXN is still on site. He's gonna get tags off onto Zack. Retake defensively from the defensive spot as spawn is nearby. And this is interesting because FaZe, they're not committed, but they're Empress. in a hard pressed position to back away as the Empress is it's about gone. to expire, yeah. Cool. Do a lot here. He has the first contact over towards the side of defender spawn. Plant hasn't come through. Zachary playing this one very safe. Time is in the favor of Equinox. Equinox don't mind waiting this one out. Recon is destroyed as well. They need to do something. They're going to have to press the issue. Eventually, Decop has no more flash. The fault lane coming on through. Corey's missing his shots. Doesn't have a lane left to go. Can't find the kill. Can't reset the HP. Oh. Zachary does get the trade, but it's a two versus three now down to a 2v2. Players still arrive over towards the defensive spawn as well. The spike is planted. Decop with this frenzy. Are you kidding me? He finds two kills with it. Just down to Zach. Rolling Thunder will boop him up into the air. Can he stay safe to get the status effect down? Here comes the child. Pancakes will deny Baby Bay from any line of sight onto the actual spike itself. Aftershock will push him into a corner. Spam shots were decent for DXN, but Baby Bay for one. Now through the cyber cage. Baby Bay a second. What a beautiful updraft that is. He's going to be eventually taken down, but he opens the door and FaZe just need to deal with cute fat boy for the retake. 4v1 situation. Good luck. Have fun. Spike already being defused and Cute Fat Boy taken out. But we want to play for Baby Bay to get two in the first place. To be the case, as D Cop is down to about a bullet. Pancakes now can be trusted to work left. their way forward. Flashpoint trying to clear off the angle over towards Elbow. Fault line will connect with Baby Bay, but. This is all down to Pancakes. Through Elbow, Marcus. point of contact can be made versus Raucous. You've got to find a way to get this kill, and they do. So now it's down to the execute. 15 seconds left to play. It's going to be a showstopper from the back door for Corey. Blades come close to personal. Yeah, completely yeah, with yeah, yeah. the second. But now, time becoming a problem. Only eight Let's seconds see. left. And as Zach is able to keep his life on the site, plus the 5v4. But two members catch up very heavily. We'll have to wait for a bit of help. We're actually going to get a very early rolling thunder. With that in combination, we'll be the Hunter's Fury. That's going to be good for one, plus damage on another. And Equinox very clean take once more over towards the A site. Baby Bay will go for this one, but can't find anything meaner. The counterpart will take the headshot kill. 3k, 8 He marved. And he's looking the wrong way right now. It's almost to think that this very left. well could be a hit over through Hookah. Now they are going to realize where the hit's coming from. Corey for first blood. It's going to stall things out very convincingly. Corey and Marv combined for all three. And the entire hope of Equinox trying to fade out that rotation have completely been follied and foiled. Just now to cute fat boy, he's going to have to save. Only got available. 12 seconds remaining. I want the new one. It's only got to spot out the one for now. Are they calling for rotations? They certainly are in meters indeed. Gets there though. Right click going to be able to find an advantage. Plus now upgrading to a vandal from what was the sheriff. Pain kicks on the site. Trying to open up some space for the spike to be planted. Gonna get popped down from Decop. Successfully it. down. Retake for phase. Gonna mostly come from the backside screens. You've got one player in Hookah and the Neural that will scout all of this out. Big advantage for Equinox. But can you find the kills? Zach, not gonna find the first. Cute fat boy does get traded, meanwhile, over towards this same angle on the elbow. DXN almost getting his recon bolt back. And how about this? Decop is re-wrapping around through Hookah. They know where Marv is from the neural that. So if you can find a way to clean up elbow, you should know exactly where. Marv is going to be positioned. He responds though to Decop. He's going to try to go for the defuse, but the Aldrone will be able to tag him up and he'll be pushed off of it. No real chance you feel like for him to clutch up here in this 1v2 completely split. Here's the recon bolt for more in. Save, haven't they? But if they get a couple of kills, maybe steal a bit of guns here. First one could have been from Cute Fat Boy onto maybe Zachary, but Zachary holding on strong. Mean is in. Zach. Okay, he'll find the second, but 3v3 we go as the hit from Equinox is finding some value. Rock is still existing, though, over towards Wood by B. Long. Marv from Elbow. Showstopper going to be called, and that will be the end of the round. Nice little execute there. It's on one from when he pulled up the operator, so neither team finding a lot of value off the op. Here comes the hit, though. Rolling Thunder. Hunter Sphere going to be using combination. Mina also tailwinding forward. Beautiful hit onto Corey. The operator player, Baby Bay, caught out in Lamp. That will be another second kill coming through. Marv can't get a double of his own, so Equinox will have taken the A site cleanly. And another really good take, rolling the rolling thunder from Equinox as well. The cup will fall, but Mina's in charge now on the high ground as well. This is an off angle. FaZe won't expect this one. Raucous might go down here. It wow, will get the kill shot. though. Mina yeah, down. Raucous reads the situation. Recon to follow through now. Two versus three situation. It is possible. But between Zach and Raucous, they have to isolate some kills. And there's a three psych over towards Lamps. Ambitious bouncing shock darts coming out. Not, not going to connect for Raucous though. 
Spy camp, not gonna find any information. Zach needs no the time. cyber cage to block off showers. Have to get a play going. Rock is trying to make their way through lamps, was maybe their only choice. Not gonna find a way to get it. And with this, Zach will back up over towards showers. You'll find one fault line to shrug off baby bay over from his angle in showers the last two defense members rotating from their spawn at the moment as the spike gets planted they do pull a couple back though both corey and teammate there and marv getting one each despite being in a disadvantaged situation that will give zachary and the rest of the responders something to work with here three versus three but they need to break through lamps again they have to chase down these members time is going to run out pretty soon they have to start getting kills Rockus gets a shock dart, but Zach can't win his gunfight into decom. His position now been made aware, but pancakes from the other side, able to find one. Baits out the shrouded step. Similarly, so Baby Bay able to bait out the spike, but he thought he had the kill. That's one of those kills. Blind on the Hunter's Fury, and with the information that there's no Soba here at B, it's going to be a quick hit, but Baby Bay finds one. Brilliant flash and trap wire come through. Baby Bay and Zach first in the world, and apparently they like those odds. Baby Ooh. Bay for the third. Unbelievable play from FaZe. Not having the weapon advantage, not having the big life. Very difficult for Q Fat Boy, but just inside a bit of the smoke, he's able to at least find one. Valuable trade initially. DXN trying to deal with the Aldrin being chased. Gonna get shoulder just to touch by Baby Bay. Now here comes the attempt. One headshot locks in. Then the spam to the Claude Bird will find a second. But Mina, now from the front, able to find himself a response. 3v3 for the health wolf looking dire for Equinox. But will that matter? Baby Bay finds himself three. Just down to one, it's decop in a 1v2. He's made his way on this site. No more flashes. Oh my god. Just one tick away from confirming that rolling thunder again. Zach early first blood. Again, Mina looking to get aggressive in the middle of the map and deploying drone. FaZe only had one member there. So the fact that that first one doesn't go their way, now they're gonna be shorthanded completely over towards this B site defensively. Corey gonna blast pack his way in. Up top, a bit of an updraft from Baby Bay. He finds one. Gonna slide right on in for a second. And even though a couple of kills will be traded on the other side of the map, it's just not gonna be much as FaZe then look at this. Half right now, Corey checking left. Plenty of damage, that should be a kill as well. Q Fatboy takes it to the fake, so it is Pancakes. They get one back and that will be a gun. As well, rolling thunder. They want Marv. Aggressive. Got Marv. They get Marv down. This is actually okay. Now you're 3v3 and weapons have been picked up. The only one that might not be having one right now is actually Mina. But they're trying to make a play from the flank over towards mid spices. So now as the hit comes through, DX going to get a read off the Aldrum. Baby Ooh. gets tagged up. Can't quite get to the safer confines of the spike site itself. So now it's a 3v2 and Equinox have done very well with this aggressive setup. Zach yeah, trying to make I his mean, way through Hookah. He's going to have point of contact here. He does find the first. DXN, do you challenge this? He's considering it, but the cyber cage might be all the consideration he's needed as he'll just wait patiently. I think there's nothing here for DXN to do. You don't want to go for this 1v1. Just wait for the time here. Fane's the ones that have to get something done. Hunt is very available on both ends. Raucus is completely That's unknown. Right, Zach right. should be able to get something. Nope, DXN fast on the trigger pull, surviving on 8 HP as well. And now it comes left. down to Raucus, the last player alive. Oh 30 seconds, just enough time to get a kill, get a plant, take it to a 1v1. Even if FaZe win this one, it has been costly. Far too costly. Equinox. It's two players, but consider this. Nina doesn't have a gun, and DXN yep. is on critical HP. So, Raucus, I would still favor it, but he Ten needs to get a kill and plant left. now. He, he doesn't have time. Now. Yeah, and all of a sudden, Mina. This is actually going to be a long Hunter's Fury for the other big advantage here for FaZe Clan. Marv has actually hit the from the shadows. He's on sight. He commits to this. Very vulnerable spot. And with that, Decop will find a kill and upgrade over to a rifle. Now the flashpoint coming through in FaZe. The spike was so far behind, they never fully committed to this. The timing of Marv actually committing to us from the shadows was a bit odd. And now because of that, Equinox is in a salvageable 4v4. Decop on low HP. As Raucus makes a TP instantly. Corey will be there to me. While this is all happening, by the way, Baby Bay's still hanging around. It's been a bit of a slow movement here. You'll notice that because the TP came through, there's not been a huge commitment by Equinox to make the rotation happen. Mina's still here. Mina goes down to Zachary, or rather Corey, while he was putting the smoke down. Baby Bay gets traded, but I don't know that they can really pick up the guns. Decop already has a weapon in hand, but that is an operator. Might be feeling it. 30 seconds if left. Anything if you're really looking to see if Pancakes can open up some space, That's I guess the 1v1 good. versus Corey. And I'm right there with you here, Avril. I mean, there's really no reason to solo chow like this. This is still around that Equinox could play for. So now that 
the question really is, is D-Cop, did he pick up that operator on this retick attempt, or is he going to try to prefer a rifle? He is very low on HP. Looks like he's got a Phantom in hand. Vault line will yeah. clear out lamps. Aftershock does the same. Zach playing over towards Bath yeah. will be holding his angle off a of spy cam while Rockus is just going to wait to get this recon bolt off. Here comes the attempt for Equinox. So we're going to just immediately stick on top of this. Recon bolt coming through. One enemy remaining. And now the attack. Rockus for the first. Pancakes can't respond to the second, but phase can do too much more there. And 12 confirmed. This is going to be map point. Equinox will have to spend these ultimates. Ah, oh, it's tough. And they D lose one already. Yeah, it's D Cop. You really needed his utility to execute when you're on an eco. Zach has been incredible on the day so far as phases Cypher. He'll be trying to hold this site as they make their way forward. Marv able to find one on the exchange, but Pancakes is able to upgrade into an AR. Mina from Showers. 1v1 point of contact here with Corey, and he doesn't expect to check his right. Faye is in a really great spot to lock this one up. 4v2, Showstopper coming out. Up and over they go. Yep. Down and out. Nope, underneath a ramps, and Mike could find himself a foot based off yeah. the angle. Spike does go down quickly, but all five members for Phaser here, including Rockus, who's holding on to a rolling thunder. Looks like he's maybe trying to position this for an elbow clear. Here it comes, all the way through. Zach finds first blood. Showstopper also the next for Corey, but he'll be fault line and delayed from potentially using this one through. Trapwire also going to come through. Desperately shots it out, but not able to find any kills. Now all of a sudden, Phase trying to work their way in from the low ground. Mina from the side though will not find anything. And Equinox, they're one set up just inside this site, but it appears to be enough. The Rolling Thunder was brilliant. We get how many numbers are making this push. Cyber cages are down. Mina trying to work their way through, but it's Baby Bay up top left. for a brilliant double. 25 seconds to play. Zach inside the site can't respond to pain kicks. Tough fight for him to win. Last pack peek from backside screens as the spike gets planted, but still 3v3. And FaZe are going to stack this together and see if they can just overwhelm by numbers. And honestly, Baby Bay has done enough here. Gets two kills. Covers for the fact that Zachary doesn't get a responder either. So both go for a one for one technically. Showstopper being expended just to keep things safe. Equinox, so maybe use this one a little bit too early. Pancakes yeah. is nowhere to shoot it. Doesn't see anybody, but Marv still goes down, so keeping numbers alive. If you can even play for exits here, if you're phased, you've already baited out a couple of kills, plus potentially the ult is already being down 7 0. Quick hit for Equinox now over towards the A site. Trying to deal with this again is maybe up top. He's going to find a kill and actually be able to tailwind and updraft the way to save for confines as Zach is there to Spike. help him. So this is not bad. Spike down on the ground, Zach for a double in great timing. And Equinox has found absolutely nothing. They're gonna be left with the last two members outside A ramps. And Raucus is there as well. Flash catches onto two. Flash now coming through from Marv on the other side of the map. They're surrounded them. They don't need to do anything here. Phase, the worst thing that Phase can do is over aggress. Just wait for the timings. Marv on the back end as well. A very critical 1v1. The Stinger Marv. So the Spike's going to try to go down. A lot of utility to use for the retake, but you need to find a kill, and you need to find a kill quickly. Rockus up top might be the player to open things up. Still has two flashpoints available way. for him. You're also going to get the Bladestorm in play. So here comes the attempt. Flashpoint comes out from the shadows. going to be spent, and that's actually going to be just a scout to see what's coming over the middle of the map. Baby Bay on the way in, floating very patiently. The knives are good, almost tailwinds away. Zach exactly. will be there to trade off the kill, at least initially. Mina from behind, though, has to go contest for the spike defuse. Is it still being held? No, Zach stepped off it. Logard, he'll stay alive. That's three different rolling thunders we've seen from Equinox. None of them have been followed up off correctly. They do take away part of the map from top, but Baby Bay down low will find one Marv able to help for the immediate trade now looking for one more over towards B main pancakes will toss out the boom bot and that will be enough for Marv to get the read that yep pancakes for sure is going to make this play D cop right now there. top side B tower one he's going to have one player with him but unfortunately the trades just aren't going to be good enough 1v3 situation for D cop from the site no spike to play with for now. Trying to keep the beat tower safe. He's done well to do just that. Nice flash coming through. That's the spike, spike right in his face. And now all of a sudden, FaZe are here defensively for a 3v4 where all you have to do is bunker up on top of the beat tower. There's nothing that can open this up for the side of Equinox. D Cop just drops the spike in the middle of nowhere. What is he doing? He's so kill hungry. You're the spike carrier. You cannot be dropping the spike right into phase territory. Pancakes has to be the no. X Factor, but Corey checks it. It's all over now. Zach for another as well. Consolation prize for cute fat boy, but you have to recover the spike versus two, and this is going to be tough. There's no way that Corey and Co drop the position for Equinox to be in. Again, last round of the half here, looking for an eight and four, rather for a nine and three for Equinox.
But like I mentioned, it was either going to be 9 and 3 or 8 and 4. And it does seem like FaZe have brought enough back to keep things competitive. It won't be 5 and 7. Baby Bay up first. Does have to dodge a little bit of utility, but he is on a jet. No smokes. Mm. Trying to get this first kill. Can't find it now. Down to Corey. 1 versus 4. Surely it can't be done. And it will not be. A risk. Faze slowly moving into B tower right now. Will be a bit of response here. Two players. Pancakes and C flame here. Pancakes will get two, three, four. <laughs> I you thought it might have been a fourth there, but Decop gets one in there as well. So this round is very quickly done and dusted now. Rock is by himself. No spike control. It's gonna get rushed down. Decop doesn't care. Rock is gonna hit the shots. Gets tagged as well. Gets bagged as well. And now a little bit. Very quickly moving as well. There it is. One for one. Traper Baby Bait is down. Oh, Notice that, by the way. Equinox have the worst equipment. They have a one plus Dalmina alive. Just using the Bulldog. That's the best gun on Equinox. And they're the taking spike. down rifles. Three to four now. The good news for FaZe is technically their guns haven't been taken away yet. There's no upgrades for Equinox. And that is the only silver lining as Corey's <laughs> going to try and make his way over towards B. Avril, that's a silver lining that. <laughs> Even Bob Ross can't make that it's color come alive. Line. It's it's that dark. <laughs> we'll see how they try to work this one though. Decop mid map. They They're gonna be able to try to find a way to clear things Ooh, out. No. But, okay, Marv finds the kill off screen. That's actually over towards A. So an opportunity here to potentially threaten the site. And a three v three. Eveling up the numbers makes life a lot easier. But now time is a big consideration. Forty seconds, and they haven't fully committed yet. That's huge for Marv because he prevents Mina from taking a gun upgrade. It prevents anyone else from going for the gun as well. And they have now out-rotated. 30 seconds Hitlock, left. So we move towards B. They're going to get a free A site hit. They have three rifles. Equinox, these are the three players that only have Spectres. Again, no gun upgrades. All well, the Phantoms are on the ground over towards hmm. ramps. Cover going this out. has been a major coin toss win. Call that one a heads up. Spike planted. And I guess the question for here for Equinox is... Are you going to commit to this? It looks like they're, God, yeah, it looks like they're going for it, at least through screens. They could set up for exits if they want to try to make life a little bit harder for FaZe in future rounds. But no, this is like, yeah, they're they going to stack. Yeah, they're going to stack and try to hit this together. Paint shells freeing up the corner. Fault line was placed with it. Try to combine Corey first blood. Yeah, able to get good on this re-engage. Showstopper. Wides areas of B. And you're just kind of wondering, what are you going to oh, use here three. to try to open this up? Here comes the Rolling Thunder. It's all towards Tower. It's going to open up space. Cute Fatboy gets tagged up by a couple of paint shells. But Deke is down. able to find himself the aftershock kill on this bike. Garrier oh, paint this is done. Four, two. Looking like GG. Zach, the last one left. Able to find one kill, but the trade is.